I'll tell you one thing, we're gonna kick the shit out of each other. That's one thing for sure. Let's meet the combatants involved in our main event on Saturday, September 11th. First of all, this man, a 21 year professional mixed martial arts career. He won the UFC 12 heavyweight tournament. He has beaten the likes of Randy Couture, Dan Henderson, Michael Bisping, and also Vandalay Silva. He holds the third most finishes in UFC history with 26 professional mixed martial arts wins. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the former UFC light heavyweight champion of the world from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, the phenom, Vitor Belfort. And this man needs no introductions, but we will do our best to give him one. A 16 year career in boxing. He has beaten the likes of Fernando Vargas, Pernell Sweet Pete Whitaker, the legendary Julio Cesar Chavez, Gennaro Hernandez, Ricardo Mayorga, and he's been involved in classic battle after battle over the course of his 16 year career. With a record of 39 wins, opposite six defeats, 30 wins coming by way of knockout, a six division world champion, a Hall of Famer, and the Olympic gold medalist. From East LA, I present to you the legend, the golden boy, Oscar De La Hoya. This is a real fight. This is going to count on both of your professional boxing records. Why were you so adamant about making sure this was a real fight? It'll be contested over the course of eight rounds. Well, this is not, this is not a game. You know, we don't, we don't play boxing. We don't play UFC. We don't play MMA. Um, I literally said, look, if we're going to do this, let's do it for reals. Let's, let's not do this song and dance. Let's not... Let's not do these exhibitions, you know, that we're tired of. This is the real thing. You said, I hope I don't end up killing him, but everything is on the table. I'd like for you to explain those comments. That's my style. A lion, when he's trying to become another type of style, he, he loses his prey. So I have to come as a lion. And that's been my whole career. I'm, I'm like coming as that mentality. If I, don't, if, I don't look, if I don't knock him out, I'm losing my family. It's everything's on the line. This is real as they get. It's a lot of respect for both of us. But when it comes down to that table, that moment that said, the time is on, we're going to go after each other. So it's, 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 this is a generational thing. It's a legacy thing. It's, it's bigger than, it's, it's uniting this both sport in one for all. So the best of both, we, we're united. So I'm looking for it. Everybody who knows me, I've never, I've never been in a boring fight whatsoever. I go out there and fight. You know, I, I leave it out on the line. And, um, you know, the, the Mayweather-Logan Paul fight, you know, unfortunately didn't turn out the way they wanted it to be turned out. But um, that's, that's not us. We have too much at stake, you know. Um, when, I, when I see Balfour, I can see his eyes and I can see uh, how proud he is of his legacy. And I, I feel that same way too. So I respect that. The odds came out for this fight, and Vitor Belfort is a slight favorite. Does that surprise you? Does it anger you? Does it upset you? I mean, I would be lying to you if I said that it does surprise me, but um, it doesn't. I can see why he's the favorite. I can see why people, you know, can, can put me as the underdog. That's fine. I've had a fucking tough life, man. I've had, I've had a rough life. But um, I'll tell you one thing. I'll be in the best shape of my life come September 11th. I think what I'm going to say is going to shock you. The problem of the world today, they look into the odds. You know, I never look to the odds. I make my odds. I make my prediction. On September 11th, I'm going to win this fight by knockout because I believe I can. Knock any man, any weight, any division, step in the eye can find a way to put you out. That's my mentality. Assuming all goes well on September 11th, is this the return of Oscar De La Hoya? I've read comments that you said that two fights and then I have no problem fighting Canelo Alvarez. I will never disrespect, um, 
you know, the fighter I have in front of me, you know. Um, never have all my life, no matter who it was. Because inside this ring, you never know. You never know what's going to happen. You never know. You get knocked out. You get, you know, you lose, whatever. Um, change, plans change. So, yeah, do I have a plan, a long-term plan, a short-term plan? Yes, it's nice to, it's nice to prepare, but it's, it's never nice to disrespect. So I'm going um, to do what I have to do in order to take myself to that next one, to the next level and challenge myself and, can, and continue to, 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 to face the toughest challenges in my life. Yes, do I want to fight Floyd again? Absolutely. Would I want to fight Canelo? Why not? If I get knocked out, I get knocked out. At least it was a fun fight, you know? That's my mentality. I love fighting for the glory is beautiful. The fans, it's beautiful. But when you love it, when you have this like deep respect for it, it's like no matter what happens, you're okay with it, you know? By the question, Vitor, prediction September 11th. You sticking with the knockout? Yes. Knockout for Vitor Belfort. Oscar De La Hoya, your prediction September 11th. Knockout. Both of them predicting knockouts. Oscar De La Hoya, Vitor Belfort, ladies and gentlemen. They will pose off one more time. Trailer Fight Club pay-per-view, both men have exclaimed they will knock each other out. You can check it out at Staples Center. Tickets will be available soon. You can order the pay-per-view on Triller Fight Club pay-per-view. The Golden Boy, the Hall of Famer, the gold medalist, Oscar De La Hoya, against the former UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, the Phenom, Vitor Belfort. It all goes down Saturday, September 11th, here at Staples Center in Los Angeles. Triller Fight Club pay-per-view. Looking forward to a historic night of boxing here in Los Angeles. <laughs>